our ancestors nearly doubled the length of the lives that we're living. And now that is one of the greatest opportunities before us in the 21st century and also one of the greatest challenges. So we developed the design challenge. And our aims were to create a program where young people could compete by developing practical solutions that would improve well-being across the lifespan. We have received now more than 1,500 submissions to the Design Challenge from over 70 countries. Trick number one is to distinguish schooling from learning and realizing that while they overlap, they're not the same thing. We've created a schooled society. We haven't created a learning society. A schooling society is how we did human capital development in the 20th century. Maybe we should think about a learning society as the way in which we invest in human capital development in the 21st. Today we have this remarkable group of eight finalists all working on innovative ways to reimagine our approach to education and learning. Off, we have Veritas from Texas a and University. The country I come from, it's, it's Pakistan. I myself have been the victim of misinformation. Almost 30% of older adults struggle with digital tools, while younger generations are losing face-to-face -face time with grandparents. The answer is Mission of Generations. Uh, and our project is Kahani, uh, an interactive educational kit for marginalized children in India that teaches social emotional learning. We are the COMI team, a student of Sapienza University. We created Flow, a deck building, strategy based card game that combines learning with play. Bloom is a digital tool that helps young uh, Korean adults discover meaningful career paths. And we have designed the, uh, a platform to help people transition into the IT industry. Welcome to Silver Tech Explorer, a personalized digital literacy program that empowers older adults' journey toward lifelong learning. <laughs>